had me worried. I thought you said incredible evaluator. <laughs> <laughs> Fellow Toastmasters of all guests, Suresh, you can't go wrong quoting Einstein in your opening. <laughs> right? Live for yesterday, sorry, learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow. You got our attention right off the bat. To your credit, you went straight out here. You moved the lecture and back. You came right out front. And unfortunately, you had kind of a little memory loss there. But you were very calm. You just came straight back, read your notes, and went back out there. And that never happened again. That was well done. Um, it is really important. The two most important parts of a speech are the opening and the conclusion. I don't memorize speeches, but I do memorize the opening and the conclusion. Because if you get, <laughs> if you got them in the beginning and you got them at the end, if you mess up in the middle, it's not that important because it's their last image of you at the very end and the conclusion that really matters. I like the logic and the thoroughness of your body of, of the speech. It was divided into three parts, and that was the three important benefits. And the first one was, we learn by asking questions. Children do it, brilliant thinkers do it, Nobel Prize winners do it. So that was very thorough. Then the effective communications was the second. So you had garbage in, garbage out. We could all understand that. The right questions produce the right answers. And then you had increased innovations and some examples there. Where I thought there could have been room for improvement was I didn't think there was a real conclusion. I think what I would like to have seen in the conclusion was, listen, I've got you in the beginning. I've given you the three main benefits of questioning. I think it would have been nice to have like a, a wrap up in the conclusion, say, remember, it does this, this, and this, and this is why it's important to you. You know, just hit them again with what you've given them. One of the places where, and I could be wrong, but what I sensed was you'd come out here and you had it all memorized, and you're doing really well. But then if you did sort of, um, you needed to think, you would you'd move. And there was movement, which like we're, we're waiting for the next word, and you're like going for a walk. Like I sort of, I sort of sensed that, which is much better than what I do. I just roll my eyes and look at the ceiling. <laughs> I didn't think that there was any kind of grammatical errors. There are no jargons. I think you could have used more shorter sentences. Like you, you're a deep thinker, so some of your sentences tend to be long, whereas I think in this exercise they're calling for more sh simple sentences. And Annette, I would appreciate it if you crank up the volume. The way to do this is record your speeches, but put the recording device 15 feet from you which forces you now to speak to that 15 feet, and it'll just increase your volume. Overall, very interesting, well done. <laughs>